Hello class, this is section 4.1 and in this video we are going to discuss how to reduce a higher order differential equation into a system of first order differential equations. This is a very important application of the systems of differential equations because this is how computers actually solve differential equations. Computers are really good at solving lots of linear differential equations but they're not great at solving equations with high with very large derivatives on them. So most computer algebra systems will do this process first. They will uh, reduce a high order differential equation into several first order differential equations and then use their computer algorithm to solve it. So uh, this, I hope this will give you some insight into how your computer algebra system works. For this problem, we're going to have to write down several variables. So let's x1 be our variable x, x2, let's call it, x let x2 be x prime, which is going to be equal to x1 prime, and let x3 be equal to x double prime, and that, that then that's obviously going to be equal to x2 prime. So a nice guideline here is that if you have a third order equation, you should come up with three variables. And most of the time they are going to be, you're going to find them during this way. You just look at your, your three variables are going to be your uh, your three lower functions, so x, x prime, x double prime. So note that we don't have an x triple prime here. But we stop, we stop at this point. Remember that for, three, for an order three function, we have three variables. So we have our variables, so x1, x2, x3 are all going to be functions of t and let's write down a differential system. The first couple ones are going to be easy. So we know that, let's write this down in red. So we know that from this equation that x1 prime is going to be equal to x2 and that's going to be our first equation. We know from our second equation that x2 prime is going to be equal to x3, and that's our second equation. Our third equation is going to be slightly more work, so you might have guessed that it's going to be an x3 prime. So let's think about this. x3 prime is going to be, now let me write this down properly. So x3 prime is going to be x triple derivative, or yeah, let me write it down this way instead. But we know from the equation to start with, from this equation, that that's just going to be equal to e to t plus 2x double prime squared plus minus 3x. And what remains is simply to write down our equation in terms of the variables x1, x2, and x3. So x3 prime from here is equal to e to the t plus 2x double prime squared, but x double prime is equal to x3, so this is just going to be 2x3 squared minus 3x, but x is just equal to x1, so that's minus 3x1. So there you have it our system of three equations, x1 prime equals x2, x2 prime equals x3, and x3 prime equals e to the t plus 2x3 squared minus 3x1. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to tell you how to solve these equations yet, but in the following videos, we are going to discuss how to solve simple systems of equations. But for now, just appreciate that we have been able to reduce a third order equation into three a system of three first order equations.